There you go. It begins at home, they say, this charity. <laughs> You're on a last <laughs> sketch show <laughs> with Gundu and Jumping Up. Well. And of course, with myself, Sam Alexander, it's always a blast here with mm-hmm. the sketch gang. And um, today I'd like to speak about a book that not everyone loves. Some mm. people hate it. Some mm. people completely disagree with it. Mm. Some people use it as a tool for life. And in fact, they use it as a map for life mm. to get through. So this is the Bible. Mm. So mm. how many times should you be reading the Bible? So, hey, so, <laughs> <laughs> so he, I'm, 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 I'm making all those noises because... I know what I know, mm. but I also know what I know. Mm. <laughs> and I'll explain that. Um, so growing up, I kind of lived and grew up under the impression that, you know, the Bible is food, spiritual food. Um, and my parents, um, be it my like physical parents or the people that I, you know, that I perceived as spiritual as, parents, spiritual parents yeah. would always tell me things like, how many times do you eat a day? You know, like okay. you have, like like you have your breakfast, lunch, supper, and you're also sometimes snacking on things. Yes, yes. And then we they're like, we sustain ourselves, the yeah, with food. And and they always used to say, well, if you physically need to eat, like every day, and I know there are people who it's unfortunate they don't get like three meals a day and things like that. Um, mm. But in as much as you need food to survive, mm-hmm. you need the word to survive. But then, don't you think on that point though? what is our diet plan like then? And I think that our next sketch, in fact, kind of alludes to, you know, I'm, no, I'm going to do a bad job at this. Can we watch it? Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Thanks, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> that sketch show. Diets. Man, they suck. If only there was a better way. Well, you're in luck. Introducing to you the all new one meal diet. That's right, everybody. After a ton of research, I've come up with a way that will have you looking me and me. Now, many other diets will have you quitting your favorite meals, but not this one. The one meal diet, as its name stipulates, will have you eating your favorite meal once a week and eat nothing else. Even the doctors agree. Wait, what? It's just this one meal for an entire week. No, it's a horrible idea. And you'll never have to eat anything ever again! No, it's a horrible idea. You can't expect to have one meal and have the same nutritional values as... Join today and see a result! It's not disagreeing if he didn't say anything. Ha <laughs> ha! Still don't believe us? Here's what our clients have to say. You will 100% die as there's no nutrients you will get in this diet. Yeah, I'm not starving myself. It's fun! No, it's not. It's safe. Nope. And you'll see results in no time. Join the diet that has people saying things like, this is not a practical diet. Don't do it. And I nearly died. <laughs> but you didn't though. The one meal diet will not be held accountable for any harm that you will 100% go through because of it. That's get show. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Um, I think <laughs> they really like punched in yeah. how how snacks it is when you don't read your Bible. Yeah. Because we really treat it like that. Like, oh, you just got one meal a day when I go to church on the Sabbath. Yeah. That yeah. is when I will read. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. yes. You know, yes. so yes. like, yes. Um, yeah, I think that was really cool to phrase it in that way. And I think a lot of people treat it that way. Yeah. I would like to say that there's no real formula to reading the Bible. Yeah. Mm. Um, I've tried it and it's challenging. The thought of thinking about of getting it, right? to First Chronicles, Second mm, Chronicles. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a, what about Ecclesiastes? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Ecclesiastes is great. I love Ecclesiastes. <laughs> really? Love Ecclesiastes. Really? Love Ecclesiastes. Okay. Love, you got to read it in the Message Bible. Okay. 
Please oh, do me that okay, favor. Okay, okay, okay. I love reading the message Bible. And the All thing right. about it is, I think that we're so schooled into reading the word and, and, and you know, the pastor says in the NIV version, the Amplified version. Mm-hmm. But we don't take the time to find out which diet plan works for me. Which, which, which story or which, which, which storyteller is going to express the story so that, I mean, I, I did my best reading the Word of God in the Message Bible, like I said, and I got to Corinthians and Romans. And then, I mean, the way that that, that Bible is set up, it has like preambles and then it speaks about who it's written to, where it comes from, mm. like, you know, quite contextual. And then you read it and, I mean, I I almost felt like Paul was writing personally to me. Mm. I know I wouldn't have gotten that experience in the mm. King James Version. Mm. Right, right, right. I'm at the point now where I can read the King James Version. And get that... M- yeah. because, I've, mm. because I've gotten the personal touch that the Holy Spirit needed me to have. Mm. Um, so I don't think there's a cookie-cutter solution. I do think, though, that if we don't take the time to find out which diet plan works for me... Mm. Like, I think people have their own... Um, dietary ways Mm. um and i don't think there is necessarily a one right way like you you said it's not a cookie cutter way yeah but the point is that there needs to be some kind of spiritual diet i think Mm. uh, yeah what you're saying and it's made quite easy with a lot of technology these days (laughs) besides google Mm. There are Bible apps mm-hmm. and they come with different versions. Yeah. You know, it's and a also list. commentary. Commentary, like exactly. So, and you're right. It changes the whole game when you can switch up to something that is more applicable to you or the English is more under, like understandable like to you. Mm. Um, so I think... Yeah, it is made easy by technology to do what Sam has asked. You don't need to buy 17 different Bibles. You can yeah, just, you, you know. You can engage in the word. Yeah. Mm. On the other side, there's also no point in reading the word of God and not absorbing everything that you're reading. Right. This next sketch explains it perfectly. Okay, let's, let's watch see. it. <laughs> that sketch show. Well, the good news is that we managed to catch what's wrong early. You should be good to go anytime. Please come back again next week for a checkup. But this should work though. <laughs> Thank you, Doc. You work. So, how are you feeling? Not good, Doc. Not good at all. Uh, did you read the instructions though? Yes, yes, of course I read the instructions. Here. At this bottle, it's unopened. You didn't say I had to open the bottle. Listen, mm-hmm. I examined you. I diagnosed your problem and I gave you the medicine. Yes, but you didn't say I had to take the medicine. What do you mean? But then why would I give you the script? I don't know. You're the doctor. Maybe you just wanted me to see what would help. Then use the help. You use the help. Use the help. Okay. Use the help. Uh, you know, okay. Now that I think about it, that makes sense. Use the help. That is why I gave them to you. Right, right. Yes, I'll just take that. Do you want me to take it now? Oh, no. No. Tomorrow. No? I'll take it now. I'll take it now. Do you, do you have some water? I'll take it now. You got a glass of water? That's get Joe. 
<laughs> so I, I, I can resonate with this 100%. Because right. sometimes the doctors do give you medication and you're like, um, hey. Excuse me, are you sure? And also there's no, there's no problem with questioning what you read. Like, so for me, I don't know how to just take something. Mm-hmm. I, I like to be like, but why? And I feel like I've said this so many times, That's probably in a Z different, thing. like, yes, the, the Gen Z, yeah. Um, <laughs> but honestly, I think for me, it's just, it's, now sometimes pastors in church tell you, this is the way. Mm. Sometimes your friends tell you, this is the way. Sometimes your family, even your mama, tell you this is the way. <laughs> right, right, right. But if you don't read it for yourself, yeah. mm. how are you going to know? That it is sure so i'm not negating that we we f- should not be following instruction right i would like to sort of expound on that idea and say the holy spirit will guide you mm. when it comes to the word of god right but but um it's 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 crazy how the bible is read sometimes mm. Mm. Right. Um, and I find a lot of the time when it comes to religion, whether it's Islam, whether it's Christianity, whether it's um, Judaism, whatever it is, we somehow seem to compartmentalize the Bible and take what works for, for us. us. Right. Mm-hmm. 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 And then move on. Mm-hmm. Right. And mm-hmm. then use that as our foundation. Mm-hmm. I think what it has to do with is reception or receiving it. Okay. Like, what wh- are you willing? Because I was going to say that the Bible, or I'm going to say the Bible is a tough book to read. The Bible is serious and it doesn't care what it will are, come fetch if, you. If you're, if, right. It will come and fetch you. If, you, if, you, if, you're, if you're rich, poor, <laughs> right. tall, small, like, like, it, it will tell you the truth and be like, listen, this is wrong. Yeah. Right. This is right. Yeah. It's like, no, but but I did it. No, 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 no. You're wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I yeah, think yeah. that is where we have a problem. And, and that's time, when we find ourselves skipping to say, this is, no, 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 I didn't hear it. Let me go to the next one that says I'm correct. So so, so it's like, it's like I, I have this I have this new uh, sketch gang uh, sweater. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, listen, uh, how, <laughs> how good does it look on me? Maybe yeah. it's like three sizes too small or three sizes too big. Yeah. I don't want to hear the truth mm. necessarily. I just want you guys to say it looks good. Right. Okay. So I think sometimes we go reading the Bible, wanting it, wanting the Bible to tell us that we're okay. We honestly be doing what he's talking about. Like we be living sinful lives. Mm. And I say we, cause we even all. me. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. right, right. So Let's give this next clip a watch, and then we can unpack that. Right. I think. I think. Let's do that. Is that cool? Yeah. Let's see what's up here quickly. That's get show. Excuse me? And I'm saying, how do we need Because your customer number 10,000. So, we need 10 minutes to go through this store. We touch an Antonina. We found a Tina Super Talam Kegas. Really? Elam Kegas. Are you kidding me? Elam Kegas. Move, woman. Okay. Mama. I made it. Okay. 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 I'm saying, 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 Daniel and Yes, yes. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. I am a Tegazi. I am a Tegazi. I am a Tegazi. I am a Tegazi. I Hey, 
anything like as it so bad. Really more than one thing. More than one thing like as it. It was like how much like as it. As I mentioned, as it. Daniel, I mean. Oh, two pieces of gum. Two. I've got two pieces of gum. Yes. Let's get Joe. <laughs> so I love so, so how you ended that last comment is exactly what happened here Man. is there's so much to gain. Mm. He he literally as soon as he was given the opportunity, he knew where he wanted to go. Mm -hmm. If he had gotten more things in the store, he would have been benefited more. Sure. Like he could have gotten rice, he could have gotten mm -hmm. uh, beans. beans, like he could have gotten like, proper proper, you know, yeah. but then because he knew just that one thing that he wanted, so we always went. So, 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 so it's, mm. it's a thing where mm, 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 mm. I feel <laughs> some of us lose before we even start. Okay. Before we read. Also, like we start off before we eat, we play. Yeah. So, so, so if we could start off by saying, listen, I'm going here and I just don't want to see words. I don't want to see ink on paper. Mm. I want this to speak to me directly. Mm. Help mm. it so mm. that it does. I think we could, you know, we could really benefit from that. And I'm saying we because I'm, I'm included in that. I mean, this lends itself to our, our, our episode on prayer. Right. You know, um, again, we have to unpack this so much more because right. there's so many gems inside of all of these topics. Where right. Prayer really just activates. Right. It activates a space that the devil cannot penetrate. Right. Um, yeah, I love what you said. Thank you so much, T. G? Well, <laughs> um, I, 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 uh, we've spoken a lot about it, like how it can edify you. And I think a great example is even in the Bible, Uchesu went 40 days and 40 nights in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. But as extreme as that example may be, I think it just shows how how important it is to have a relationship with God and the word and to like keep feeding yourself in yeah. that way because it affects everything. Yeah. Like your yeah. whole being. Yeah. So, yeah. so I didn't I'm so sorry. There was a oh there's a word there. I like the the, <laughs> the oh, man. If you go into the, the desert the devil was using the whole picking and choosing ooh, 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 thing, ooh, right? Ooh, ooh, you get what ooh. I'm saying? So like he said, remember in the Bible, it says this, the, de the devil is, in as much as we sometimes use the Bible to right. justify ourselves. Mm, behaviors, right. yeah. But then if you are on that word, if you have that word daily like Jesus. and you eat it, like he came Jesus, back at him. He like, came back with it and said, no, 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 no. Right now what you're you doing is know. picking and choosing. Mm, mm, Let's mm, go mm, through that whole thing. Correct, sir. I told you that's If you're going to read, read the full read chapter. The full in fact, read the book. Because then the devil is like, the, the word says this, but God is like, no, 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 the word says this. Yeah. If he had the audacity to go to Jesus hey. with the Bible, who, I mean, are, who we? are we? Who? My biggest take out for today, I must be honest, has to be, you have to eat properly. Right. You have to eat properly. If you're not eating properly, you are not going to grow. I mean, we say this to kids. Yeah. It's been awesome. You guys always come through with the best support. Thanks, Sam. And just helping us navigate these difficult and challenging discussions. Mm. If you have read the Bible more than once, more than twice, more than five times, maybe there are some comments that you can assist with. Mm. Do that on our social media platforms. That's YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Use the hashtag TSS on SID and mm. use our hashtag Sketch Gang. Sketch Gang. Sketch Gang. Thanks for hanging out with us. It's been amazing.